grabbing a line now. Hopefully this is Aaron. Good morning. This good, is 13 Good morning, Hi Aaron. there. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Laura. Thanks. Good. I'm so glad you could make time for this because this is so important what you guys are doing for Pelotonia and raising funds. And uh, wanted to get your viewpoint on what's happening. Jump in. Yes, um, we're actually um, a group of six women who are um, riding the 100-mile bike ride from Columbus to Gambier for cancer awareness. The six of us need to raise nearly $14,000 in entry fees. 100% of the proceeds go to the James Cancer Center and Solov Research Institute. We are doing everything we can to raise money. We are hosting in partnership with the VFW, who are graciously putting this on with us, Mm -hmm. um, a hamburger dinner and a silent auction and 50-50 raffle on March 13th um, from 5 to 8 p.m. Okay. We have lots of local businesses have graciously given us lots of stuff to raffle off. Oh, Um, for the auction and everything. For the auction, yes. Okay. And we have lots of local artwork, baked goods, stuff that we are going to be auctioning off, selling to try to raise this $14,000. Awesome. So it's coming up Friday, March 13th. That's just a couple of weeks away. That that is. Oh, my gosh. And 100 miles. Do you guys have to train for this at all, or is it just to get on the bike and go? Oh, well, we are training. Okay. Um, We have trainers that we are are currently um, on our bikes, in our basements, due to the weather. You know, um, we are trying to do that as as best as can. Ideally, it is an outdoor event, so we ideally train outside, but... 100 miles, we need to get on that as soon as we can. So Yeah, I'm guessing um, so. Wow. So hopefully the weather breaks soon and we can get outside right. to, to get on that. Yeah, I, I, I'm right there with you. So tell yeah. me about your crew. What's the name of your group and who's in it? Okay, um, the Rad Crew. We are honored to be riding this year with the Buckeye Knox Kickstands Peloton. The Rad Crew actually started out in 2010 as the Rad Chicks, as two girlfriends and myself um, started out, um, we met in the radiology department at the hospital, and we decided to do a triathlon together. It was myself, Janet Sanders, and um, Emily Mickle, and we decided to do a triathlon supporting the Stephanie Spielman Breast Cancer Awareness, and we trained for five months for that, and we were very nervous, but once we did that, we were hooked. Mm-hmm. And we signed up for every race imaginable after that, um, 5Ks, 10Ks, mud races and obstacle races, more triathlons, wow. a tough mudder, half marathons and marathons. And, you know, we picked up momentum and we picked up more members, more women and our children and our spouses and significant others and <laughs> friends. And, you know, once we got the men and the children in there, we couldn't rightly call ourselves the chicks anymore so Mm -hmm. we changed our our name to the rad crew and Mm -hmm. we sold shirts and we had a fairly big fan base with our family and friends and um not to sound you know full of ourselves the rad crew name actually came from the the radiology hence the name rad okay you know we figured the next best you know the next big step was you know this hundred mile bike ride so the six of us are myself janet and emily jessica kidwell um, Stephanie Campbell and Tammy Coakley. And Tammy. Yeah, Got Tammy, yes. All in there. Okay, so Janet, Emily, Aaron, Jessica, Stephanie, and Tammy. Yes. That's so, so cool. Now, when you guys ride, do you each ride with an individual person in mind, a story of a family member? What's What really boosts you guys along? Yes, um, unfortunately for myself, um, I can't speak for everybody else. Okay. Um, cancer has um, had a huge impact on my, my family, mm. uh, both of my parents, my husband, um, my grandparents. I have a first cousin and many aunts and uncles and several uh, friends. Wow. My husband and my dad were both treated at the James um, Cancer Center, and I owe them a huge debt of gratitude. Um, I feel honored to be able to ride in this year's Pelotonia and raise money to give back to them for saving um, my dad and my husband's life. They, they they did a great thing, and the James was actually, <clears throat> excuse me, the reason I went back to school to become a nurse. So I owe them, you know, my future and their future. My goodness gracious, there's nothing holding you back. Not at all. Wow, it's kind of like you faced death in the face, and you just decided to take it on and, and stomp it in the ground. Absolutely. Wow, that's amazing, Erin. What a story. Well, anything else that we should know, or is that pretty much the whole deal? Um, that's it. We, um, we're very excited about this upcoming um, event, and um, we're um, very 
excited about um, um, the VFW. They're, they've been very gracious. Um, the VFW in Mount Vernon is located at 306 West Chestnut. We have so many items that we're auctioning off from the local community and the local artists. It is open to the public. They have giant half-pound burgers and fries that, that we're offering for $6, only $6. It's a great deal. And um, just a few of the um, sponsors around town, um, Etched Glassware by Jennifer Dilgard, Corey Butcher Photography, Buffalo Wild Wings, Jake's, Darbright, um, Premier Theaters. We have tickets from the Cincinnati Reds. We have a big goodie basket from the Cleveland Browns, local car washes, and the Blonde Robin in Danville, and several oil changes around town. So mm. lots of stuff to bid on. Yeah, lots of support. That's really awesome. Yeah. Well, a big salute to you guys and an AM Knox County fist bump and go rad crew. And we'll be sure to continue to let everyone know and remind them about Friday, March 13th from 5 to 8 at the VFW. Thanks so much, Erin. Thank you, Laura. All right. Have, have a good a, one. You too. Thanks. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye.